this is Andy Lapta for Permit IP Andy Andy. I have a little home project that I wanted to uh, share with you, spin up a little video, maybe I could help somebody out there. Um, I wanted to add Bluetooth to my uh, home PC. Why? Well, uh, I co-host the Art of Network Engineering podcast, and um, for the year we've been doing the show, I have these cheapo little $7 uh, Amazon headphones, which are fine. They work fine. Um, but I'm tethered to a wire and, um, I, a couple months ago for working out, I scored these, uh, Jabra elite 75 T Bluetooth headphones, which are completely amazing. Fell in love with them. They're awesome. Uh, so I'd like to pop these in my ear and use them instead. Um, so I, my um, PC's motherboard, the Asus Maximus, Maximus, I don't know, Nine Hero Maximus, something, whatever it is, it has one USB to header. Um, what does that mean? Well, um, USB 2.0 header is a connection on the motherboard that can provide power to something and can also help the something communicate with the system. Um, I only have one USB 2.0 header on my motherboard, which is currently connected to a Corsair H115i water cooler. Um, the USB 2.0 connection to the motherboard between my water cooler and the motherboard, um, it lets me control things like the LED lighting on the cooler, which I don't really care about. Uh, more importantly, fan curves to keep it nice and quiet because I do uh, some studio work in here and I need to be need it to be quiet. Um, you can control the pump uh, speed, whether you want it to pump more water or less. Um, I have an overclocked i7 7700K uh, chip, which runs at about five gig at max and it gets pretty hot. So that's why I want the water cooler. Um, but long story short, um, I found that to add a Bluetoothy, to my PC, I could get this guy, a uh, little PCIe. It's for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, I don't need or want the Wi-Fi. I'm a network engineer. I ran Ethernet to my office and I have hardline. I mean, why in God's name would you run half duplex wireless ever unless you had to? I don't know. Some people do. Um, so I bought this guy and went to install it and realized uh, this requires USB 2.0 power um, a header on the motherboard to power the Bluetooth portion of it. I will not be installing the Wi-Fi, but for the Bluetooth, I need that header. So uh, I did some research and came across this NZXT internal USB hub. Uh, the box and I had a little fight, but it's in there, I swear. And what you get with that hub is it takes your one USB 2.0 header and makes four of them. It makes four little baby USB 2.0 hubs. Um, you feeded power from a SATA connection, SATA, SATA, I don't know. Um, you take the USB 2.0 header from your motherboard, connect it to the top port on this hub, uh, the one right under the LED indicator, which tells you that the hub's getting power. Um, and then you plug all your peripherals that need USB 2.0 connectivity into that hub. Um, so I'm gonna install it. Uh, I'll show you uh, how I do it and maybe to help somebody. There is one cat out there. I found one video of how to install this thing and, and how it works. And uh, maybe I'll put a link down there and, and, and give the fella um, you know, credit where credit's due. But uh, here's my attempt to install this and see if I can solve my problem and go from wired to Bluetooth headsets. Um, so here we go. Let's see what we got. All right, so we'll see how this goes. This isn't the right lens for this kind of stuff, and I'm not even sure you're gonna be able to see this, but uh, we're in my PC case, and down here, which you can't see because of reasons, uh, there's a little, um, well, here, let's pull it out and show you. Uh, let's see, I'm breaking things. Ah, get bored. All right, well, um, I will show you once I get it out, but there's a little plastic dealio guy. He's my USB 2.0 header, and he has something plugged into it, which goes up to my uh, water cooler right there. How's our focus? I don't know. Um, this little cord here goes down around through that, plugs in down here onto my header, and takes up my only slot. So we're going to do the magic with this guy. Get him plugged in, get him powered in, plug my water cooler into him, uh, connect the Bluetooth guy and uh, power it all up with this super duper USB 2.0 header. So here we go.
NZXT USB hub installed. Um, did what I said I was going to do. Plug the uh, water cooler USB into the hub. Plug the hub into power. Plug the Bluetooth card that I just installed into the hub. Turn the computer on. And let me show you what I'm looking at here. So, la 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 la. Where, where? Here we go. All right, so the first thing I'll show you is that the uh, this little guy here is telling us that the water cooler is communicating with the system. This is the water temp in the water cooler. Uh, that is happening via that USB uh, 2.0 connection. Uh, we can change the pump if we want, um, but it is communicating and working. And the system is communicating all the different uh, temperature sensors in the PC over to this Corsair Link software. So uh, even the GPU temp, yay. So uh, the one thing I was worried about uh, is working the water cooler, whoopsie daisy. And where was the other thing I wanted to show you? Uh, device manager. So device manager, what just happened? There we go. Um, Device manager shows us that um, the Bluetooth is installed. This was not here prior to installing the card. And uh, Jobber Elite 75T are my Bluetooth headphones that I wanted to install. If we look in my volume controls down here, one of my choices is the Jobber Elite 75T um, that I wanted. So um, water cooler working. Uh, Bluetooth card is working as evidenced in the device manager here. That's what you're seeing here. And I'm able to select my Bluetooth headphones here as an audio device, which is sweet. And finally, I will play some jams. Let's see. Love me some Billie Eilish. I don't care what you think. She's amazing. It's working. I got tunes. No more cord. All right, so that's enough nonsense out of me. Um, so that's it. Uh, the other thing, uh, when you do fire up the PC, there's a little LED light indicator on the NZXT uh, hub that will light up, also giving an indication it's working. Um, it's magnetized, which is pretty sweet. I'm loving this tune. This is amazing. Oxytocin, Billy Eilish. I got to turn this off. It's too distracting. Sorry. Um, so it's magnetized, which is nice too. So it just pops right, the, the hub pops right on your PC case. So pop it in, give it power, plug the uh, USB 2.0 header from your motherboard into the top port right under the LED indicator. Plug all your other devices in there, fire it up. Um, and we're working, we're running. And now I have Bluetooth capability, which I did not have before. And my water cooler using USB 2.0 is still working. And I got two more things I could plug in USB 2.0. So uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what else I can plug into this thing. I want to buy some more stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. And uh, catch you later.